Hi, I am Taylor Loper, and I am the lead developer at Ionize Games. In this video, I wanted to tell you about a science fiction game we're working on called June. I'll tell you a little bit about the story, and then how we want to tell this story. So the story starts off with your arrival at June. This is just a routine planet survey commissioned by the UNC. Your mission? Confirm the accuracy of the satellite and planet-side rovers, and find a good place for a colony ship to land. Now the story takes a turn when you discover ruins. This is the first known evidence of a species besides humans that has made it past the Stone Age. Your mission now? is to find out what happened to this society. The way we want to tell this story is in a fully dynamic open world, and Unreal Engine 4 has some amazing tools for doing that. To tell a linear story in a dynamic way, we're using two things, dialogue and decals. The main way the story progresses is through the dialogue between the two surveyors, very similarly to the video you're seeing now. As you walk around the island, you're free to go wherever you want and explore the ruins in whatever order you want. We use blueprints and dynamic materials to control which dialogue is played and which set of decals appear on the ruins. This allows us to tell the story without the player feeling restricted. As far as dynamic gameplay, we've designed the tools to actually work the way they would in the real world. So nothing is scripted in the conventional sense. Right now we have two tools the reconstruction tool to rebuild the ruins, and the mapping tool to help you find the ruins. So let me show you those right now. We'll put the mapping tool down, and you can see it is updated on the map. And then we'll throw our reconstruction tool down, and it'll attempt to rebuild what it thinks should be there. So when you place your mapping or reconstruction tool, it actually goes out and scans an area looking for items of interest and updates your map or builds the structures in real time. Since these tools work in real time, we're able to make major or minor changes and additions to locations and layouts without having to go back and update everything else. So let's go find some more ruins. I'll run up here closer to the mountains and put another mapping tool down. And it looks like we got something on the map. We'll check that out. As we run up there, you can see that we're, we're trying to go for an open world feel. And as you may know, it's, it's very easy to create a large world, but it's very difficult to detail that world. Because we're such a small team, we've really utilized construction scripts to help make up for it. Each of the rebuilt structures uses the same blueprint. All we have to do is select what mesh we want, and the materials, the normal maps, and the particle effects are automatically ba updated based on the size or the orientation of the original mesh. This lets us create scenes very quickly. So we'll throw this down and rebuild this area. So th the last thing I wanted to talk about is the character movement and controls. This is a story-driven game, but we also want people to have fun running around these maps. So we've made it easy to transition between first and third person, just to give you whatever feel you want as you explore the islands. We also gave you an exosuit so you can run incredibly fast, and of course a jetpack for those hard to reach places. So thanks for taking the time to watch this video, and hopefully you're as excited about June as we are.